Hello and welcome to another edition of the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. During the 2008 financial crisis, our state unemployment fund went bankrupt, forcing the state to borrow money from the federal government. We eventually paid it all back and increased our overall reserves in an effort to prevent that situation from happening again. So here we are, once again, facing a potentially large increase in the number of unemployed people. Curtis Loftus is the state treasurer for South Carolina. Curtis, welcome to the program. Well, thanks for having me, Mike. Is this in any way a serious situation for our state's unemployment fund again? Well, of course, it's serious for everything and everybody. And I know you share that same view. In 2008, we weren't nearly as prepared for what was coming down the pipe. South Carolina learned a lot from that. Governor Haley met with the budget writers and they uh, were able to repair that bankrupt unemployment fund. It now has well over a billion dollars in it. And in fact, it's kind of the border being overfunded. And that's exactly where we wanted because we all knew something else was going to come along. So I'm very proud about that. I think the budget writers learned a lot. You know, we have both of our state's reserve funds have been fully funded now for years. So again, I think people can feel as, as good as, as possible about how the state's been managing their money. Nobody's ever prepared for an outsized event like this one but we're in such a better place than most states. And I guess a lot of that is attributable to the fact that we're 10 years into a very nice economic recovery that of course now is ending. That's right. But there were some hard lessons learned. You know, after the 2008 crisis, the General Assembly and then the Budget Control Board went into state agencies and had to cut programs during the middle of the year. We had to reclaim funds. And that was a painful event for everybody. And of course the taxpayers as well. We learn from that and that's not gonna have to happen, we hope this time. So the state is in a much better position. We've got better reserves. We've been very fortunate these last few years have been very good years for the state. We're as well positioned as possible to weather the storm. Other areas of your responsibility include monitoring state and local government investment portfolios. Yep, that's right. We practice on a regular basis our business continuity plan. Most folks and most other treasurer's office have no idea how far advanced we are. We have just two weeks ago practiced, you know, before all this happened, maybe it's three weeks ago now, we had 66% of our staff out of the office working either from home or from a third location. So we've been practicing this. When we do that, we have our big banking partners in New York and in Boston and in California and other places all practice with us. They have to go off site just like we did. We're all in constant contact. Our financial software lets us chat back and forth or of course we use the phones. So we're on the phone or chatting back and forth with our financial partners and ourselves just constantly all day long. Have the investment managers had to make any big moves in the portfolios that you are monitoring? Well, they have. Everything across the board has taken a hit, but we are conservative managers. We're not reaching for the stars. We're not looking to get the highest income possible. So therefore, we don't have the risk of a lot of other funds do. We are um, about an $8 billion fund, that local government. That's your county libraries and, and counties and cities and school districts. We also, in addition to that $8 billion, we have about $12 billion of state money, and universities money, uh, the state itself, our authorities and agencies. And all of that, of course, is monitored. They're fixed income portfolios. So they don't have big swings like the equity portfolios, but you can lose money if you're not careful. And again, we manage those conservatives as well. So uh, I could be happier. And I guess that would be totally separate from the state retirement fund, which would have a more significant exposure to the equity markets. That's right. They have a 30 year horizon. So they're able to be much more aggressive I was not always as happy with that portfolio as I am now. For years, it wasn't managed perhaps the way it should have been, but now they've got good management over there. They've got honest people. They've got hardworking board members, and they've got a great staff. So they're going to take some lumps now. Everybody's going to take lumps out of the market. I think the investment commission has about $34 billion. So you're going to lose money in times like this, but you got to stay the course and you'll come back. It's going to have some volatility that mimics what you're seeing on, on TV that I know in watching my own portfolio, uh, I would be pleased to see this volatility go away. Well, Curtis, thank you so much for spending time with us today. 
Well, it's been my pleasure. Curtis Loftus is state treasurer of South Carolina. We will have a link to his office posted at our webpage so you can learn more. Our address is SouthCarolinaPublicRadio.org. Or you can hear this show again, connect with us, and subscribe to this podcast with the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.